The leader sets the tone and the climate of where you want your school to be, where you want your school to go. In order to start with the type of culture that is needed, you need to have the teachers that you recruit for your school on board. And how do you do that? How do we start building culture with our faculty? We start having a retreat. And I say that because in order to get the students on board, you have to have the teachers on board. And so we start with what we call, uh, we call it a PD development, but the PD development really is about working with culture, changing the mindset of teachers who might have been somewhat of a non-believer and help change them into being a believer. Our school is comprised of about 98% African American students and about 6% free and reduced lunch. That school, when I walked in the door, was unbelievable, and no one would want to work there. I mean, I did not want to work there when I first walked in the door, so we knew there needed to be some changes. I was fortunate enough, and I need to tell you this because you need to know, in restructuring a high school, I was fortunate enough to have a committee of people to help select the staff for the school. Some people are not always fortunate enough to do that, but I was blessed to do that. When you're selecting a staff member for your school, and it's not just the principal who's making the decision, it is a team of people that are comprised of a math department head, an English department head, a science department head. So whatever teacher that we are looking for, or interviewing for, that teacher and the head of that department with her team of people were there in, in the interview. But starting back with this culture of believing what, what can be done, we will take the teachers to Camp Joy, and this is when we take all of the whole staff, not, I just don't want to say the teachers, it was the clerical staff, it was the custodial staff, it was everyone who impacted children in a building. And so we went to Camp Joy, we wanted to go to a place that was way out in the woods, so if you got angry, you couldn't come home right away, because we put you on a bus. Because we felt that it was important for you to understand what it is that we needed to do, and what it is that we had to do. And so when we went to Camp Joy, we had a great staff developer there. And the main thing that we wanted to start with is building trust among the staff. We needed people to find out who are the leaders in your building, who are the team players in your building, um, who are what we call the negative people who we needed to really work with and change what, how they think about working in an urban setting and working in a rock bottom high school. We wanted to make sure we didn't have teachers in our building who, who wanted to pity children, but we wanted people who believed in children and who was able to move them from point A to point B. Once we gathered our team and we were on board at the um, um, retreat, it was awesome because we got to blindfold people to see who would follow who. And it's amazing because some people are hesitant because like, I don't know that teacher. And I say to you, when you're hiring new people in your building, it is important to make them feel a part of your culture, a part of the climate, and not just meeting them on the first day when school starts and when you gather together uh, a day for the, the in-service. And so it was really amazing to see who would buy in quickly to follow a teacher that they did not know. It was amazing to see who were afraid to follow a person they did not know. And I, myself, would watch. I wanted to get a, a real perspective of who are my leaders, who are my followers. And when you do something like that, it is amazing how you can learn how to learn personalities of people and you get to know people outside the classroom. When we work diligently, and we, do, we normally do a retreat every year, we work diligently to make sure that everybody's on the same page. 